Really cool props here this morning because Olympic hopefuls have been training in Montgomery actually since last fall and now you can watch them in action. Here to explain more is the CEO of Montgomery Whitewater and a former Olympian himself, Dave Hepp. David, yeah. I had no clue about your background. We're going to tell everyone how they can check out the hopefuls this weekend, but tell yeah. us a little bit about how you got involved. Yeah, I grew, I mean, I grew up as a kid and happened to go to a camp, learned how to canoe and then sort of got the bug and started racing as a 17 year old and raced until I was about 30. Um, did the whole World Cup circuit for years and World Championships and you know I'm still involved in it. It's kind of fun. Now people can come and see some of those folks training yep. in person for free. I told you about yep. a personal experience I had watching an Olympic trial. How can people here in our area check out these athletes? Yeah for sure. Uh, the Whitewater Olympic trials are this weekend Saturday and Sunday. They're at Montgomery Whitewater Park. Uh, it's free to enter. Come bring your chair. Come watch the Olympians, our hopeful Olympic hopefuls. Uh, the race starts at nine, goes till about four o'clock, both Saturday and Sunday. Um, and we have live music Saturday afternoon. We have our activities open, so you can go rafting, you can rent a bike. We have a, a bouldering wall, a little kids zip line area. So there's plenty to do. Come on out and enjoy the place. And it looks like our weather's going to be great once this passes through today. For people like myself who know nothing about the sport, they just think it's really cool to see these mm -hmm. folks in action. Mm -hmm. What will they see? What will they be so, watching? Yep. Yeah, so basically, the, the sport of canoe slalom is an Olympic level sport. There are two different disciplines that we'll be focusing on this weekend. One right here, this boat right here is a, is a carbon boat, super light. This is whitewater slalom. It's more of a uh, classic discipline where they go downriver and they go through uh, gates, very similar to downhill skiing. And it's top to bottom, individual, one individual at a time fastest person wins. If they hit the green or red poles, it adds two seconds to their time, and or if they miss a gate, it adds 50 seconds. So it's similar to skiing in the fact that they're going downstream and navigating gates, but they can't touch them. So that's whitewater slalom. There are, I want to say, three different um, spots up for the Olympics in Paris this year. And then there's a new sport that is actually new to the Paris, new to whitewater, and it's, it's debuting in uh, Paris this, this summer, and it's called uh, Kayak Cross. And that's a, a bit more action. They're actually being a, a boat out here that this is a plastic boat out front, a little shorter, more indestructible. We will launch uh, four athletes at a time off of a ramp up, up top. Wow. And it's more head to head style. And they, they battle each other next to each other and they go top to bottom and there's a few different gates they have to navigate. So it's um, a lot more action, a little more, it's definitely more combative. Um, <laughs> so super exciting. So the kayak cross qualifier is midday on Saturday and then the final is the second half after lunch on, on Sunday. So you get to see athletes go head to head against each other. It's really exciting. Um, so that so basically there'll be a, uh, two openings for the Olympics in that discipline as well. So kayak cross and then canoe slalom. Kayak, you know, it's kayak and canoe. Canoeing, you're actually looks very similar. You're on your knees with one blade. What people typically to, think of when they're yes, canoeing. Yes, but it's closed. Like these boats are closed. You sit in it and you put a skirt on so no water gets in it. So wow. You can roll, you can roll them over. It seems kind of intimidating, <laughs> but actually it makes a lot of sense because you stay dry. Now, I remember before Whitewater even opened here in our area, you said this park will be mm -hmm. able to do something like this. This park is meant to host yep. Olympic yep. trials, Olympic events. What sets but, Whitewater apart from some the, of the others? Yeah, the, honestly, the, the facility itself is fabulous. It's set up perfectly. You know, I always say if Atlanta got the Olympics, we would host the Whitewater piece without a doubt. Um, and honestly, once we got up and running, we've only been open 10 months, uh, the, between the chamber and the county, everybody put themselves, you know, got together and said, hey, we really want to try to host this event. It was a bit of a last minute effort to try to get it. And the fact that once we brought down some of the uh, Olympic Committee folks and the canoe slalom uh, administration folks and brought them to Montgomery and showed them, A, the facility, but B, just the hospitality of everybody locally and how we, you know, we're right next to town. There's hotels really close. Our um, weather probably that, helps a little bit too. Yep, weather, and, and they can train all winter here. So by and large, over the last three months, the work that we've all put in in the background between, you know, all, our organization, county, city, everybody in the chamber, um, we just made it happen. And they were so impressed with Montgomery itself that they essentially awarded us the Olympic trials kind of last minute. Um, so it's been a bit of a whirlwind to get it all up and running, but we're, we're super excited. And honestly, the, the site is fabulous for it. And everybody who's been here has, has been super impressed with sort of everything from getting here and enjoying the city 
enjoying the park. You know, we're, we're, we're psyched for the, for the event this week. David, I started off our interview talking about your personal experience mm -hmm. as an Olympian because one piece was so important that mm -hmm. stood out to me. You said you got involved not because of your parents or grandparents mm -hmm. or friends, mm -hmm. because of a summer camp Yep. you attended yep. and you all offer that similar style yep. training for young people yep. in our area talk about we sure do that. yeah in fact we you know the Olympic trials is one thing that's sort of the higher higher end of things what this park is perfect for is teaching you know kids and, and adults alike really we can introduce kids to a sport that otherwise you would have to drive really far for they won't have access to yep. in our and, area. and in fact we have an after-school kids program starts in mid-may I want to say um, and I th we already got a dozen kids signed up for this season. We did it last fall. So it's, we're in the perfect setting to teach this new kind of sport. Um, and we don't really start at any kind of competitive level. It's much more about getting in the water, being comfortable with basics. it. Learning the basics. Learning the basics, having fun. And then if, you know, if we find certain, you know, certain personalities be, like the racing piece and are competitive and other ones don't, they want to go to just enjoy and they go slow. They just want to hang out, have fun. Yep. <laughs> so it's very much like the park is set that way to where we're not preaching anything super competitive. Um, but if we get the right, you know, once we get our program started on the slalom end, then it, we can grow from there. And, 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 you know, honestly, the sky's the limit. And just our weather is so good for so many months of the year. This, this park will be busy for years to come with, with racers and locals alike and we're we're excited and that means we probably have a lot of future olympians right here mm -hmm. in our great. community remind people again of the times for people to come out and watch all the athletes yep. this so weekend. both saturday and sunday the uh, races are from about 905 or 915 till about four um, and it's a mix of uh whitewater slalom and then kayak cross in the afternoon and the award ceremony will be following on Sunday, just after the last runs, probably right at four o'clock. If you don't know anything about it, still come out, check it out, watch some of these amazing athletes. It will literally take your breath away to watch some of those young yeah. people go and so fast in that yeah, water. Yeah, really, and, <laughs> and we have this all the spectrum from kids who are 15 to you know 35 year olds who've been to three Olympics racing here. All right, David, thanks so much You're for welcome. joining us as always, yeah, and bringing me. your props here yep. on Alabama Live. We appreciate it.